The goal of database normalization is to avoid redundant storage. Sometimes, for the purpose of performance, it is necessary to violate the normal forms and to intentionally introduce redundant storage of information. And this process is called denormalization. Denormalization is the process of adding redundant columns to the database in order to improve performance. Let's have a look at the example that we've seen before. We have split the courses table and we've removed the phone number from the courses table. We've introduced a separate table with the instructors and the phone number. If you have an application that makes heavy use of the phone number for particular courses, then this makes actually sense to add the phone number back into this table if we really cannot afford the performance overhead of the necessary join operations. So if this performance overhead of the join operations is too much, because we are using the phone number too often, then we can add the phone number back to this table. So we have redundant storage of information because we still have our separate table with the instructors and the phone number. But now if we want to look up the phone number for a particular course, we no longer need a join operation. We can directly retrieve this phone number from the courses table. Since we still have the separate instructors table with the names and the phone number of the instructors, we avoid the insertion and the deletion anomalies. We can still insert the phone number of instructors, even if the instructor does not give a course. And even if the last course of an instructor is deleted, the phone number is still in the instructors table. However, we will have update anomalies. So if we want to change the phone number of an instructor, then we have to now change it in multiple positions in the instructors table and multiple times in the courses table for each occurrence of the instructor in the courses table. So we have slightly faster queries to retrieve the phone number for a particular course. However, we pay for this performance improvement by a more complicated application logic. The applications have to update the phone number in multiple places. Also, the updates become slower because now there's an overhead of having to update multiple phone numbers. And we risk that if the application that accesses the database is faulty, then this application can turn the database state inconsistent. So if you have an application that only updates the phone number in the instructors table and not in the courses table, then you suddenly have an inconsistent database state. Denormalization may not only be used to avoid join operations, but we may use denormalization to add completely separate redundant tables with the goal of increasing the potential of parallel operations. Or we may add columns with aggregated information, for instance, the sum of the money of all the bank accounts of a customer. So we can think of different uh, uses of denormalization in order to make queries faster or to simplify applications or to increase the potential of parallel operations.